is up, you guys? It's Scott from Fly Rides back again today to do another EMTB review so I can keep chipping away at my goal to ride every EMTB on the market, at least all the good ones. Today, we are definitely looking at a good one. It is the top of the line EMTB from Mondraker. It is the Crafty Carbon RRSL. It does not get better than this in terms of Mondraker's Enduro EMTBs. This bike has it all. The Bosch Generation 4 Performance CX motor with 85 newton meters of torque, a full carbon frame, the zero suspension and forward geometry from Mondraker. Overall, just an excellent bike to lead the lineup for Mondraker. Now, if you don't know that much about Mondraker because they are relatively new to the United States in terms of the e-bike game, make sure to check out our intro to Mondraker video that has a review of a bike from last year called the Dusk RR and a general just history of Mondraker, how they build their bikes and what you can expect from them in 2021. But back to the Crafty Carbon RRSL, looking at the specs, you can expect a pretty incredible bike. But as we've talked about before, bikes are not built on specs alone. So we want to do a full review for you guys. But before we get into that, do not forget to subscribe to the Fly Rides electric bike channel below. Make sure to hit that bell as well so you know when all of our videos are coming out. You don't want to miss a thing, much like Aerosmith in Armageddon. Uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, though, if you are into the top of the line EMTBs, we have got the reviews for you. Let's break into the Crafty Carbon RRSL review. All right, I'm feeling a little bit frisky, so let's talk about specs, baby. Let's talk about specs, baby. Starting off with the drivetrain, you have got the SRAM X01. Eagle access derailleur on a 10 to 50 tooth cassette in the back. Ooh, baby, if you have not tried out this derailleur, I really, really want you to because it is probably my new favorite electronic derailleur on the market. You've got 12 speeds of precise, fast, and reliable shifting from SRAM. Really enjoy this derailleur. That drivetrain is partnered, as mentioned before, with the Bosch Performance Generation 4 CX motor with 85 newton meters of torque and a 625 watt hour battery. The Bosch motor offers 250 nominal watts and gets you up to 500 peak watts. You will not have to worry about hills if you want to do some laps on this bike. You have got at least 30 to 60 miles with that 625 watt hour battery and that 12 speed derailleur to keep you a little bit more efficient as well. The group set is rounded out, not with SRAM components, but actually with Shimano. It's a little bit of a battle of the brands, but they work really nicely together. You've got Shimano XTR hydraulic disc brakes on 203 millimeter rotors front and rear. You are going to want these four piston hydraulic disc brakes on your EMTBs. If it's not coming with four piston, it might not be a bike worth looking at, quite frankly. Mondraker sets you up with suspension that you definitely want to see on a bike of this level. It's from Fox. It's Kashima coated front and rear. Up front, you've got the Fox 36 Float Factory Kashima coated fork. That's got 160 millimeters of travel. The Fit4 damper. This is a great top notch fork with a lot of functionality and a lot of tuning you can do for yourself to make the ride more plush and fit for whatever style of riding you like to do. And then in the back, you've got the Fox Float Factory DPS shock also Kashima coated. This is a really nice setup, kind of on the edge between Enduro and All Mountain with a 65.5 degree head tube angle and a 76 degree seat tube angle. This is all on Mondraker's zero suspension system and their forward geometry, which makes this bike way more maneuverable than most Enduro All Mountain bikes and part of what makes Mondraker EMTB so unique. But again, if you want to learn more about Mondraker, I highly recommend going to check out that intro to Mondraker video. It is going to have every detail about Mondraker if you are new to this brand. This bike comes with a RockShox reverb dropper that does have access as well, so it is fully electronic. Bluetooth droppers, in my opinion, are much more reliable than their mechanical or hydraulic counterparts. So I always recommend opting for this or swapping one out. But on this bike, you already got it. But perhaps the marquee feature on this bike is that it is a fully powered Bosch EMTB that weighs right around 20 kilograms or about 44 pounds, which is insanely light. So if you are familiar with the EMTB market right now, you will probably recognize a lot of these components when compared to other top of the line bikes from other brands. 
So what's going to set this bike apart is that zero suspension setup, the forward geometry, and the fact that this bike is fully carbon and one of the most lightweight, full-powered EMTBs on the market today. So we want to get Austin, our best rider out on this bike, to let you know the differences between this and other top-notch bikes and whether you should be looking at a Mondraker Crafty Carbon RRSL. Austin, take it away. Drop it in. Uh, you just hear the shifting on that axis. It's so on demand. You know it's gonna shift perfect and crisp every single time with no skipping. All right, let's accelerate a little bit, say what's up to Scott, and get into the little chunky bit. See how playful this bike really is. Woo! Absolutely set that gap. There we go. Now we're gonna get into the higher speed section. No brakes at all. Just crushing the trail. Oh my gosh, we gotta slow down for this little G out. Compression, turn, have this little gap right here. Throw it over. Woo! Then we got a nice little air right here into the berm. Woo! Man, that zero suspension feels like I have more than 150. So after that first section of Hummingbird, all I gotta say is I'm impressed. This RR, Crafty RR SL just dominated that. The zero suspension, even with the float DPS, made that feel like it was absolutely nothing. And then the forward geometry with the shorter stem, just like right now, was incredibly twitchy. And wherever I pointed the bike, it went. All right, let's air out this little trail gap. Woo! All right, here we go. Put that float DPS to the test. Absolutely. All right, which line are we gonna do here? Right there. And then now we got into the, the drop off. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. Dude, that was sick. Woo! Outer line. These tires are doing work right now. Let go of the brakes to air this. Woo! Oh, I've almost lost my line. All right, we got some flowy corners. Take the outside line, let the tires drip in, pop back outside. Oh, gotta surf the rut. Woo! -hoo. And there we go, no brakes. Our brakes are keeping me in check. All right, we'll hit this little double right here at the end to cap it off. Woo! And that will do it. That'll do it. Can't feel my hands. Means it was a good day. I don't think anybody expected this bike to ride poorly, but that was some seriously incredible riding on the world's lightest full-powered EMTB. And I really should emphasize this a little bit more. Mondraker has done some seriously cool stuff to keep this bike at that 20 kilogram or right around 44 pounds weight. 
It is a fully integrated battery that is non-removable, so you don't have the extra weight of a key barrel, uh, cover, stuff like that. That's totally integrated. The Kiox display helps reduce some weight. So this is a really well thought out bike to make it full powered and also super light. 44 pounds is the, the weight that's given on Mondraker's website. That is pretty damn close to the 42 pound weight of a lot of the super light bikes from companies who are doing bikes with less power, less torque, um, this bike gets pretty close to those bikes and it's offering full power, which is incredible. In my opinion, this bike does offer a lot of similar components to top of the line bikes, but it is well worth it if you are someone who really wants that lightweight feel of a fully carbon bike and not just a fully carbon bike that it's like, well, it's still the same weight as an e-bike because of the battery and motor. Mondraker has found ways to keep that weight down, which is an incredible feat because again, most of the time with full carbon frames on e-bikes, it's like, well, this bike still weighs 50 pounds. So what am, I, what am I paying for here? But Mondraker has found a way to keep that weight down. And I think that is pretty remarkable. Add on top of that, the fact that I think the zero suspension system rivals my personal favorite formerly, the DW Link. I think it's probably, it, it's a hard decision for me because I am like a DW Link stand through and through. I love it. But the zero suspension setup is really, really well thought out and it's very fun to ride, responsive, but also on the climbs, it just really gets you up the hills without a ton of pedal bob. So if you are looking for full power on an incredibly lightweight package, there really is no other bike to look at other than the Mondraker Crafty Carbon RRSL. It is super light, super powerful, and a super good time. You can use that Mondraker. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Fly Rides Electric Bike channel for more from Mondraker and other top-notch EMTB companies. You don't want to miss these 2021 bikes because they just keep getting better and better and we never get tired of reviewing them. And I hope you don't get tired of watching these videos because I like making them. Thanks for watching you guys. And until next time, go out there and enjoy the ride.